Hello everyone and welcome to another War Leader PvMP video. Today I have got a couple 1v1s and a small group fight that I walked into as a solo to dissect for our entertainment and education. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get started rather shortly here. The first fight is a burglar. Uh, it is Squanto. And uh, the last video I talked about fighting him, or I th yeah, I think it was Squanto in the last video and not being able to record the fight where I beat him. But fortunately, I run into him here out in Lugs, he just jumps me, and I get the chance to actually show you what a fight with a decent burglar currently looks like with Update 15 and all this stuff. Now one thing that I am doing is I'm being a bit more conservative than I probably should have should be with my healing, at least in the beginning stages of the fight. I'm slowly working on wearing him down, I'm trying to keep myself healed up, and he's going to be unleashing just stun eh, purgatory, we'll call it. Uh, it's just going to be coming, and it won't stop. It will never stop. Uh, I try to get a stun on him just to slow him down. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of health missing, so if he pops his... Uh... Oh, I forget the name of the ability. Um, the one that gets him out of a stun and resets everything. Uh, fine footing or something like that. If he pops that, I'm not too worried about it. It's like a 3k heal, but at this stage in the fight, I'm okay with him resetting everything because most of his skills he hasn't used. Um, so it, it's a temptation of, the, oh, do I, as the burglar, if I get stunned there, do I pop it now or do I save it for later when I'll need it? That's the kind of choice I want to force onto him. Unfortunately, I'm getting pretty beat up here. I do get another <laughs> crit right there, so I'm going to be able to get some more heals off. Uh, and really... I need to do something to, to sway things more in my favor. I've managed to run him out of power, so that's a good start. But I go ahead and hit get a grip right there, just to get myself back up. And here, I go ahead and go for double heals, and then I deploy my banners. That's kind of wasted, because I've, he's really low on power. He's below half morale. I should have gone on the attack instead of stopping to drop the banners. I, I just wanted a little bit more. And he goes ahead and hits hips right there. Now, I did nail him pretty recently with uh, Black Speech, so I'm hoping that that last tick or so from the dot is going to knock him out of stealth, which is the reason I have Black Speech traded in my build, so I can knock Burgos out of stealth. Also, damage over time is just good, and that's the only damage over time that a war leader can get access to. But he comes back, he just decides to attack again, and right here he stops moving, I go ahead and heal, and then I just get him with the shield bash, fracture combo, and he's done. Next is Bramdol, and Bramdol is a very special dwarf. From the beginning, Bramdol was touched by destiny. For when he was born as a young dwarf baby, it was foretold in prophecy that one day there would be a dwarf named Bramdol, and it was his destiny to face off against his greatest nemesis, the most hated foe of his ever to come into existence, and he would fight valiantly but ultimately, he would not triumph. He would instead succumb to the bagel. Yeah, it's not a very good prophecy. Uh, the only reason he was ever named Bramdol, since that was the entire prophecy, was because his parents were completely clueless about this prophecy even existing. And then when they gave him his name as a child, the midwife there just kind of lit out a gasp of utter shock. Uh, unfortunately, the dwarves employer employ a form of no-takesy-backsies when it comes to naming their children, so he was kind of saddled with the worst prophecy ever. Which led him to decide to defy fate and do everything in his power to become as legendary as possible, since he knows that it's going to end rather tragically in a somewhat eh, meager fashion, a bit lame, honestly. Uh, in other news, Bramdol is actually, I didn't know this when I fought him, I found out after I talked to him after these fights are finished, uh, he's actually a kin member of mine. Uh, he hopped onto his creep character, who's someone I actually know pretty well from being in the Edmores. Um, I was honestly surprised that it was him, but it, on second thought, it did kind of make sense. The nice thing about fighting a, a Guardian, and yeah sure, he's got the uh, buffs up and everything, but the Guardians do not possess the same level of burst DPS that other classes do. Uh, in my last video, you did see the, the one Guardian managed to get very lucky with the crits 
at basically the right time, and that was what it came down to, was he got the right crits for the right stuns at all the right times, interrupting heals, uh, keeping me at low morale, managing to finish me off that way. But that's typically not what happens with the Guardian. Typically, you can just go ahead and fight them toe-to-toe -to -toe in Brawler's stance and not need to worry about too much. You keep deploying the banners and everything. And what I'm working on right here is I'm trying to get him run out of power. And he decides he wants to vacate the vicinity of the banners. He's hopping up and down. And what it turns out he decides to do is he runs for it. Uh, when he finds out that he cannot manage to out-DPS me and kill me through the heals and everything, he backs off. Uh, he does go ahead and t stick around, try to fight a little bit more. I, I am down to half morale. And actually, looking at the the buffs right now, it looks like Imposing Presence has worn off, and I don't even realize it, haven't reapplied it, because I should be at 70... Uh, one, it's about 71,000 morale. And I said I've got a max of 68, so... That's about 3,000 morale that I just don't have, because I forgot that. But it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, sure, we've got, uh, he's got about 10,000 less morale than me right now. But I've got all the cards, because I've got my get-a-grip cooldown ready. Uh, my potions and everything are starting to come off cooldown. I've still got all these wonderful little banners to use. And the other thing I'm do I'm being very disciplined about is I'm keeping myself backed off from him whenever I'm deploying my stun. I'm typically using that time to heal right back up, especially because this second stage of the fight is after <laughs> I was already down below half morale. So I'm being careful about that. I want to be a little bit conservative and see if I can get him to stick around, but once again, he drops below 1k power and he's off. Alright there, I do get a very fortunate crit. That allows me to catch up with him, start to put some damage on him. I gotta try to to beat him down while he's running away, see if I can pull something off. And there I go ahead and I use Intimidating Shout. I don't get the crit. I should have gone ahead and used the Call the Shadow, so I would have gotten a guaranteed crit. I did not, and he's going to be getting away now because I am slowed. And earlier he had me slowed, but I did go ahead and pop Purge. Purge does have its uses, although it's very expensive, but typically if I'm chasing down someone who's running away, I have no qualms about popping Purge because they're not focused on me. They're focused on escape, so it doesn't matter that I throw away a couple thousand morale to get rid of some slows or possibly stuns. It's all good. Also, nothing terrifies someone like being slightly slow, but they've got the Reaver that's on their that's right on top of them, slowed as well, and they're just barely staying ahead of him, and then that war leader that's grouped with him pops purge and the reaver suddenly on him and dev strike and dead. Very, very frustrating for them. And the great thing about it is they typically don't realize exactly what happened. They just know that suddenly the reaver was faster. They don't know that the war leader was responsible the entire time. I try to leave TA but Bramdell actually catches up with me and uh, he comes back on horse and attacks again. And this becomes kind of the theme, is he, he goes away for a short while, he buffs himself, uh, he gets himself healed back up, uh, I believe he goes, he, no he doesn't have any food up there, uh, he just regenerates at the speed of rapid, and he comes right back at me again. Uh, there's a war right over there, Kona, uh, who's just watching, uh, doesn't really feel the need to interfere or do anything at this point, but that could change shortly. Never know. And now another war leader has shown up, and I believe here is where the the warg and possibly uh, I think a defiler is also going to get in. There I go ahead and hit purge. I guess it wasn't in the last one; it was right there. Uh, it allows me to catch up with him, get right back on top of the little dwarf, and just keep pounding him. So yeah, we've got a, a Defiler, we got the Warg there. It looks like there's also a Reaver hanging out. Uh, the Warg and the Reaver so far are not doing anything. Uh, Bramdel takes off, and honestly, I don't blame him, because there's five creeps standing around, and a couple of them were participating in the fight. And there he goes, he hits the infamous Boots of Courage, and is off. But shortly after that, I wander down towards TA, because I was told that there was fighting, and arrive just in time to see... Uh, that war leader from earlier go down. So first things is pop down the banners. We want to slow things down for 
the amount of damage that the enemy puts on us. Uh, speed up our rate of killing them. That's what both those banners do. Go ahead and res the war leader. I give him a heal. I give him a bubble because <clears throat> with the number of class trait slots I have, I don't have room to slot the improved res. And that was a, a deliberate choice I made. The, the trait I take instead of that is enhanced black speech. And the main reason I do that is because I've I've tend to view the having to use the res as a minor loss in and of itself. And if I can, possibly, I'd prefer to be grouped with the guys that I'm resing, and I'd like to hit res and then greet them with get a grip, maybe quitters never win, something that I can use to easily heal them back up. Um, I don't find it to be too much of an issue most of the time. Occasionally you do get guys get bursted down right off the res, they complain about it because it doesn't have a lot of morale, it doesn't have a lot of health or power when you come up off that. It's not very, it's not the best thing to use in a combat situation, but I view the benefits I get from having enhanced black speech as being worth the trade-off, and that's just personally. Um, before rank 11 I went my whole career with the enhanced res traded. Uh, sure, it's a great skill, it's fantastic, honestly, but now that I finally have something that I value more than that, I'm willing to go for it. And Bramzel, because it was just a group fight, he hit the charge, but I'm able to keep up with him with mobilize because it's only a 15% movement speed difference. Quickly catch up to him, I go ahead and nail him with Intimidating Shout with the Power of Fear auto crit, and he goes ahead and <laughs> gets us all with challenge, which is a knockdown because of brutal charge, but it's just not enough. We're right on top of him. The reavers have him slowed. I go ahead and hit him with the stun right there. Uh, he does manage to pop some cooldowns to get himself back up to mostly full health, but it's just not going to be enough. Everyone's on top of him. We got what five, six creeps beating on him. Uh, he's just vanishing. Uh, he does manage to ditch most of them right there, but I believe I'm using the auto-follow at this point, so my character just stays glued to him. And I move up to the side there, he goes down, I don't get the killing blow or anything. And that is the end of that. So anyway, that's all for this time. I have pretty much uh, a lot of the same stuff, I'm glad to be able to show you the burglars. Uh, burglars, they've always had some very strong chain stun mez abilities, but it has definitely gotten to a new level now. Um, I've never been able to get stunned eight times in a row by a burglar. Now that can happen. Uh, even back in Mirkwood, when you could get people with conjunction stuns on top of the stun mez combinations that they could use. Uh, yeah, it's just an entirely new uh, level of pain. Anyway, that's all for this time. Hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something. Good luck and have fun out there. Ugmog is out.